Well, Vidya and Shefali, two powerhouse performers, when they play off one another, it's bound to be a jalsa on screen, right? Because I think that's the kind of common sentiment you guys must be getting. You know, GOAT, powerhouse <laughs> performers and wonder women, national award winners, all of them together. How has this casting coup been achieved, guys? How has this happened? I think the credit goes to Suresh Triveni. Really? Yeah. Absolutely. And how did he manage to do this? Well, I think he had a script which was impossible to say no to. And uh, him as a director, I admire him tremendously. So does Vidya. And we love the madman. So I think it has to do with Suresh Triveni. And thank God someone thought of bringing us together. Yeah. But I have to tell you that, you know, when the announcement came, I was very excited about working with Shep Ali. But I had no clue that people are going to yeah. react like that. Even within family and all, for the first time they were reacting. Previously, I think the last time they reacted was when I played mother to Amitabh Bachchan in Pa. You know, and now they were all saying, wow, this is going to be crazy. And I was like, wow. Mm -hmm. And then the, everyone in the media started saying that. And I had random people asking, when is that uh, movie with you and Shefali releasing? And I was like, okay, yeah. this is exciting. Yeah, this is exciting to have this kind of interest already, even before they saw the trailer. And since you mentioned Amitabh Bachchan, I, I just, I, I decided I'll not ask this question. No, please, please don't, don't. Please don't. don't. Please ask. don't. I was very happy with the kind of retort that Vidya had yeah. on that question. <laughs> Somebody with an ingenious mind really thought that it's a Jalsa biopic and Vidya with her Pratiksha. That was the best part. Yeah. That's the best part. <laughs> True. <laughs> but yeah, coming, back, coming back to how I started this, how enriching was this, playing off one another? Absolutely enriching. Um, it was exciting. I was also partly mesmerized, as I have been with Shivali for years. But actually playing off each other, I, you know, on set, we were actually just being the characters. I don't think I was observing her performance. We were in the moment, right? But when I watched her yesterday, because we watched the film at a cast and crew, and I don't know how she Actually, manages to do it, even after doing an entire film with her, even though we didn't have that many scenes. But don't she's always, she, she always connects. She always affects. She always touches. And I don't know how she does this. What is the magic ingredient? <laughs> yes, Shivali, how do you do it? No, I, I, I think I become richer because of somebody like her, I become richer because of the director I have, the scripts that I get. And uh, if I don't give it everything I have, I'd be a fool. And it's just, it would be so stupid. But it's, I mean, you know, when, when you're working with someone like Vidya, and I'm not just saying this, I admire and love Vidya, not just as an actor, but as a woman. And when you're working with her, I mean, what, she's a very giving actor, but like she correctly said, we were just characters. And Ruxana and Maya have a very uncomfortable space between both of them. But yesterday, and it might sound like we are parroting each other, but or I'm parroting <laughs> yeah, but it's a fact. Yesterday when we saw the film, when I saw the film, I played Ruxana. I believe in Ruxana. I believe every stand she takes. I believe that she is in the right and somebody else has wronged her. And at the same time, I'm watching the film and my heart broke for Maya. And it was because of this woman, because of the way she did it. I, I was like, I was torn. I didn't know which woman to side, you know? So, yeah. yeah. And you, like you rightly said, before we actually start sounding like a mutual admiration society, I want to ask you this, and you have to be very, very honest. Before you actually got down on the set, when the first, uh, you know, first shot was filmed, when you actually got to working together, what was the kind of uh, perception of uh, both of you guys that you were carrying? And what really changed when you started working with each other? I have to say that I only knew Shefali through her work. We had met socially, but you know how it is. You say, hi, how are you? And that's about it. So I thought she would be a very quiet person. Um, I, I, had, I thought she was warm, but I didn't 
think she was so childlike. I was, the first time I met her at the Abundant Share office, she gave me the tightest, warmest hug and, and she almost screamed in, yes, yeah. Oh. And I was like, one minute, is this Shifali Shah? You know, but it's, <laughs> it was such a wonderful revelation because, you know, um, I think we often mistake um, the role for the person. Yes. And uh, even though I'm an actor, I think I fell prey to that. But it was so wonderful to realize that, you know, she's so easy, she's so much fun. And uh, yeah, so that was my impression that got shattered the first day. But it was a good shattering. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. She once again said that you are a brilliant actor, Shifali, and what about you? She just <laughs> loves me. Um, uh, well, you know, the first time, every time I've met, met Vidya, I've had this feeling of her being extremely genuine and honest and real. And she really is uh, like she, you know, she doesn't shy away from showing all the love and the appreciation or the respect. And it just got reinforced throughout the making. You know, you meet someone and they say nice things about you and you say, I mean, first though, Vidya Balan saying that about me and I was like, seriously, does she mean it? She's just saying this to make me feel good. <laughs> but when, I mean, <laughs> but she's so real, she's so genuine yes. that I wouldn't question Vidya. And that's one of the first qualities of her that struck me even without having interacted with her, having met her briefly elsewhere. But it wasn't a shattering, but rather a reinforcement of the feeling that I had that, you know, she, and she's so open about it. I don't know a lot of people who can give compliments. I really don't, which is silly because, uh, and mean it, you know, not just say it for the heck of it. And I think that's, that's an amazing quality. That's it. I, being genuine, obviously, is the best thing that can, that should be in a person. I, I totally agree with it. Now, you know, uh, Vidya, it's uh, the 10th year, uh, you know, after Kahani. This is the year that we are talking about. And also 10 more years, if we add that, uh, it being for Satya Ashifali. Now, if we talk about women in cinema, now that you guys are here, you know, you are hemming this project, being women. How many of those women-centric questions have you actually addressed and how annoyed do you get still answering those kind of questions? I think I've done it at least 1,008 times between <laughs> all my films in the past 14 years. Every single interview, I get asked about this. And I thought that initially, you know, oh, it's new, so people are asking me this, but <laughs> that hasn't changed. They still, but I'm hoping that someday we'll be able to do away with that tag of being a woman-centric film. Not that, I take great pride in it. Make no mistake, but you know, just that I feel, I hope we reach a stage where there are enough number of women-centric films that we don't feel the need to differentiate between male-centric, women-centric. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, Shifali, I'm very rightfully, so we're talking in a time of shade me, we're talking in a time of Delhi crime, Jalsa, and yet this sort of persists. Why is it so difficult, even after 20 years of when Satya happened for that matter, do people find it hard? Why is this male gaze always? Why do people find it hard that a woman is hemming a project? I don't think they find it hard anymore. I really don't think so. I mean, and that has changed since the last, that is changing rather, since the last couple mm. of years. Uh, you know, uh, the perfect example is sitting right here. I mean, the films that she's done, and people love those films. They don't just love Vidya Balan, they love those films. They want to go to watch a film if it's led by Vidya Balan. I want to go and watch that yeah. film. So it is changing, and it has changed. Uh, but to expect it to change overnight, it's not going to happen. Because our industry mm. was male-dominated. And not just because they were more powerful, but because writers, directors, creators, producers gave that so that much power into one singular hand. Instead of understanding that it's equal, it's women are equally uh, important and powerful as men are. And this is, and, and you know, this is again like uh, the term feminism. 
is misused hmm. a lot. The dictionary meaning of it is equality of gender, not one-upmanship. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, that until was... now, it's it's sounding like a one-upmanship because we're just trying to come up to the same level. Mm. And the industry's woken up and said, oh, wow, you know what? And, uh, like the, some of the top shows on OTT are ruled by women. Are ruled by women, Not yes, just in totally. the position of an actor, but producers, yeah. directors, head of platforms. You know, so all of it. So I think it's not going to change overnight, but I'm hoping that we mm. wouldn't even be having this conversation mm. at a point of time. Mm. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to be an actor today? at this time, male, female aside, just being an actor with the kind of content that is being generated at the moment, how does it feel? I'm very happy being an actor and a female actor at that. I'm very <laughs> happy. I'm very happy and I'm feeling, I'm feeling, thank God, finally, I am doing the kind of work I've always wanted to do. But yes, you're right, for all actors, because actors in a commercial film, would have probably been just sidelined as characters, supporting actors, like they called. They yes. were called. But yes. besides supporting actor, kya hai? Uska bhi ek full fledged character mm. to hoga na. That never happened. That that it that opportunity was never given to actors in uh, films mm. to say so, in the commercial films to say so. Yeah. But because of OTT, that has changed. Every character you see, whether it's Delhi crime, whether it's human, whether it's Jalsa. Not just us, but every character has that importance and is full-fledged mm. in their own space. Mm -hmm. And Ridhi, I'd like to take uh, that. I'd like you to take that question on how does it feel to be an actor at this day and age? Or do you think do you see that difference, or is it sort of the same? No, um, I think it's the best time to be a female actor. <laughs> you know, because I do think that female actor roles are better written today. They're more varied, they're more layered, they're more nuanced, they're more human. You know, there is no pressure of being heroic on us, which is why there's no one, uh, there's no stereotype or no mold we're adhering to, to be heroic. You know, we're being ordinary, but the extraordinary emerges from the ordinary. So our horizon is really limitless. Whereas I actually feel that now, today, uh, you know, that they need to do something about the male actor space. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now before, before I wrap up, I really am loving this conversation, but I'm unfortunately very, very short in time. I'm still getting those uh, comments that we need to wrap up as soon as possible. You guys have worked together. I believe this is not the first time that you've associated yourselves uh, with the project, but I don't think the last one really had... You you sharing screens together? No, you am know, I right? It was my first TV show. Shefali okay. had done maybe uh, one one show before yeah. that, but I had watched her and loved her. And that particular day, on I was an onlooker in the scene, and she had it was an emotional conversation between her and another actor, and another character. And I just I remember being mesmerized by her then, but obviously she didn't know me and. Uh, we never got introduced, but yeah, that was the first time we worked together. And that show never happened. <laughs> yeah, that show never got aired. Unfortunately. Thank God for that, we have Jalsa today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to ask you is, because obviously now that you've worked together, you have actually picked up inferences from each other, you know, got to know a little bit about one another. So this is like a fun segment where I'm asking you these instances, you are just supposed to point at one another or probably at yourself on who is most likely to do this. Okay, great. Okay, all right. And also tell me the little story behind it if there is one. This first one, who's most likely to spend the time reading a book on the set? Most likely to. <laughs> None of us. Neither of us. <laughs> I used to do it a lot before. Yeah. But now I'm just totally into mm. what I'm doing. Okay. All right, the second one, who's the most talkative one out of the group? More talkative one. <laughs> me, 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 yeah. <laughs> me. Shivali, okay. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, 
Um, okay, imagine both of you are in college. Together or not, that's totally up to you. Who's most likely to approach a guy? A guy that he that she likes. Most likely to approach that person. <laughs> why, why, Shifali, why do you say so? Because why I was like, approach? I never approached a guy. I never had the opportunity of dumping a guy also. <laughs> but look, it was like... <laughs> never. <laughs> My idea of romance was I, I had this crush on this one of the, the uh, senior, seniors uh, seniors in my school mm. and uh, he was in greenhouse uh. so I got green heart earrings. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like <laughs> I mean I couldn't believe it and that was my epitome of romance. Oh. Think of <laughs> Utna bas. And Vidya, what have you done? Have you really approached someone and made a fool of yourself approaching that person? Has that happened? No, I've not or made not? a fool of myself and I've never really... Um, I've always sussed it out to see if there is an interest level before, before making the move. So that mm. I don't fall flat on my face, <laughs> but, but I have, yeah. I have done it in my own way. Okay. You're, okay. You're the daring one. All right. Last two. Uh, who is most likely to write a love letter? Since Shifali's already said that she's restricted to the green heart earring, <laughs> is it Vidya or is it Shifali, the clo closeted one from you to write a love letter? <laughs> I, I wouldn't know what to write. I will write, I write letters all the time. Really? Even to, till date. No, I write I, letters. Yes. I, I love letters. Okay. Wow. Okay. Who's most likely to receive a standing ovation on her audition? <laughs> it, I mean, it's a mutual admiration club. Hai. <laughs> All right, last one, last one. Who's the better singer? Better singer. You, you, you. No, you no, no, no. You. Okay, I'll keep it me. If I sing, then. <laughs> <laughs> Since you guys are good actors, you guys are good actors. 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 You You guys have only sung it. Because you've done oh it so God, well. not a comparison. Yeah, exactly. Asha Bhosle ji singing Sapne Mein Milti Hai. Oof. Not, I mean, I can't even dream of something like that. So, so this is what I was trying to actually trap you into this. Since your film is called Jalsa and we want to end on a Jalsa and a high note, why don't we have an encore with both of you lovely ladies in these beautiful tarees because of the holy fervor that we are actually in. So why don't we end on a very, very high musical note? Any song, any favorite song before we say goodbye? Do me a favor, let's play holly. <laughs> and not Jalsa. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you are lovely, lovely. Thank you so much for Thank doing you. Thank you so Thank much. You. And Thank you. Thank you.